Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are just going to put some dog tags on the CNC with our diamond drag bit since the laser didn't work. All right, first thing we're going to do is actually make a jig uh, for the dog tag to sit in out of this three quarter inch plywood. All right, guys, uh, since we were not successful with getting the dog tags etched on the laser, I uh, decided to get it onto the CNC, and we're going to actually do a diamond drag bit engraving on it. Uh, we have a 90 degree diamond drag bit. Uh, this is going to be the first time using it, so uh, here we go. So I made this square, which is the size of the dog tags uh, this will fit in there and it's, I'm gonna cut this out in a jig so that I've always got the zero point uh, this is another jig for something to come later uh, but it's all gonna be in one piece so I've imported uh, the luthien right out of light burn and in to aspire here so that we can do this engraving so what we're gonna do uh, is actually come up to our tool pass and we've got a few different options here and this T is a quick engraving toolpath. So we're going to grab that. We are going to actually use our diamond drag bit. We only have one and it happens to be the right one that is in here. So it's, well, not that one. It is under specialist, I believe. Yep, diamond drag bit, 90 degree. So that is the one we have. It's already loaded up. We will use that one. Uh, depth and pressure. Uh, zero is what we're going to start on. Uh, step over. Uh, what I want to do, is we can do the outline or we can do a fill. So I want to do a fill. Uh, you can do an offset, which could look super neat on stuff. You can do a hatch, uh, which would also look cool in different aspects. Um, you can do a zero hatch, which would be up and down. A 90 hatch would be the same thing. What I'm going to do is a so that uh, doesn't matter an angle. You can cross hatch, you cannot cross hatch. We wanted to cross hatch it um, so that it's. Let's see if it's show cross hatched. Yep. Okay. Hatch at 45 degrees. Uh, we've got everything that we need in there. If we hit calculate, we will see it right there. So then, what you can go down is you save toolpath. Uh, you pick where you want it. Uh, we'll just do CNC G code is where I have things saved, and it automatically is set up for the shape hoko already because I've selected it once just save toolpath pick where you want it and save it now let's uh, get out onto the CNC and give this a whirl and see how it turns out all right this is the bit we're going to use it is a 90 degree diamond drag bit so it's spring-loaded and it's got a diamond right in the tip it's hard to see but diamond on the tip uh, you can adjust the springs here, but we're going to go with stock settings. So we're going to get this in here. It's going to, the reason I jigged this is so that it always orientates off of this corner and I know exactly where this is, is for the design. And we'll just zero it out on that and then uh, throw the program in. Same one that we tried to etch with the laser for the luthien, except I cross hatched it. 
and uh, we'll throw this in and see what it does. All right, we're going back to a more old school way of zeroing it, where it's just use a piece of paper and get it down where it's right on it. All right, right there it is holding it, so we will zero there. All right, zeroed out, got the program ready. So one of the big differences with this one is that you do not actually turn on the router. So we are just gonna let it go how it is. So let's uh, test this first program out and see how it works. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show now that we've got the jig and we know our tool pathing, how fast uh, we can actually throw in uh, and change them up and do new ones. So we are here, this is our spot for the dog tag. All we need to do is come in and pull some text. Uh, we've got text set at the size we want, so it's just about getting it in the right spot. And we're gonna do the other dog bowing. So it's not perfectly centered, and that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll double click it, we'll pull it over, get it close where we want it. We can hit close now. So it's still not exactly where we want it, but we can come over to the align section tool and align to section, not align to material. So we're gonna hit the align to section. And I actually had it pretty close. So let's move it up a bit. All right, do our selection and align to section. Boom, now it's perfectly in the middle of where the dog tag is gonna sit. We can close that, we can come back up to tool pathing. Go ahead and pin that and you know what we want, 90 degree, fill, cross hatch, boom, that's everything we want. We can calculate it, make sure and select calculated and boom we've got our cross hatch and we're done so all we need to do is once again save we can label this one we had luthien so this one will be bayorn save that now we can uh, jump out on the cnc and get the second one cut hey guys <laughs> so you can see bear really doesn't care, but it's on. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.